Today, you're gonna learn about four different custom trained GPTs to scale your real estate business and streamline your marketing with AI. Welcome to This Week in Marketing. My name is Jason Pantana. I'm your host, and I'm so glad you've tuned in today to talk about AI, specifically a feature inside of ChatGPT+. Plus. ChatGPT+, Plus is the paid subscription, about 20 bucks a month, that gives you access to lots of other bells and whistles and features within ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT, I'm sure you're familiar, is a chatbot, and you're effectively chatting with a bot that's been already trained on lots and lots and lots of data. That's called a large language model. That's what you're really interacting with, but within ChatGPT, GPT Plus, the service gives you the ability to train your own GPT. What does that mean? Well, that means you can layer your own proprietary information on top of what it already knows. So the large language model that is ChatGPT4, the underlying model that is what you're talking to in ChatGPT has already been trained on lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of data, limited up until April of 2023. But with custom trained GPTs, you can layer your own training data on top of what it already knows, thus enabling it to do a lot more nuanced tasks maybe sound more like you and it's writing and so forth. So today we're gonna to talk about four specific custom trained GPTs that are going to level up your marketing mix as a real estate professional in your local area. The first custom trained GPT for you to consider making for yourself is a property description generator, whereby you program, that is you instruct the GPT on how you want your descriptions written for your listings. Photo captions, the realtor remarks, variances in terms of maybe one listing description that's more appropriate for Zillow versus another portal based upon perhaps character limitations. All of those instructions or nuances can be crafted and composed into the instructions when you train the GPT. And what's really remarkable is you can then create conversation prompts where if you or a user, maybe a team member or a listing coordinator on your team, if they start the conversation prompt for MLS photos, that can then deploy a whole sequence of steps where maybe you can instruct the GPT to first ask questions. Please upload images you want captions for, and you can upload up to 10 images at a time in ChatGPT right now, and it can then run optical recognition to see the images and write the captions based upon your instructions. How many characters, what style of writing, and so forth do you want included? And they can simply proof it and then upload more photos and continue the process. Another conversation prompt, for instance, could be if you're writing the realtor remarks for the MLS, or if you're writing perhaps a whimsical story for a social media post, or a script for a voiceover virtual tour narration. Different conversation prompts whereby it has the means to tie into its own instructions and then understand, oh, when they click this button, they want to do this. And when they click that button, they want to do this. Streamline the way you're writing copy for all your listings, make it faster, do it more, do it better, and it's gonna scale your marketing. That's the first one. Now, the second custom trained GPT to consider making for your business is a review ghost writer. And this one's gonna require some delicate conversation. We're talking mostly about Google reviews, which are the most important reviews on the internet right now. However, Google becomes very suspicious suspicious of any business that seems to be too involved in its customers' reviews. Obviously, it has to be the customer who leaves the reviews, so we have to do this very carefully. I want you to imagine a scenario where you have a team, and you have lots of agents selling houses, and you want to streamline the process for how you're getting reviews from your team members. You could create a custom-trained GPT that will walk every one of your agents through a specific protocol of what the best practices are around getting reviews. For instance, they open the link to the custom-trained GPT that you've shared with them. There's a conversation prompt that they select and it says new review. And when they tap new review, the GPT has already been instructed to begin asking a series of questions so it can get the right facts and data to support what goes in the review. It asks like, what was the client's name? Who was the agent? Did they buy or did they sell? Where did they do it? All these types of questions that are relevant to the review, what's a unique story or aspect of the transaction that needs to be highlighted? And then it can craft the review and you can even instruct it to not write and sound like an AI. For instance, one of the instructions in your custom trained GPT could be, I want you to copy and paste the last three reviews published on your Google business profile so I can make sure that the review I'm about to write for you doesn't sound like any of those so that you can keep Google feeling like it's more natural and not auto-generated. Now, obviously you can't publish this review, but what you could do is send it to the consumer and say, hey, we've written a review that looks and sounds like this. 
What do you think of it? Do you want to change it? Are you comfortable posting it and see what they do with it? This may not be something you want to try and that's fine, but your instructions in the GPT could also tell it to infuse the right keywords so that you start ranking more often in your Google business profile. So the review ghostwriter is another possible scenario of a custom trained GPT that could streamline the process and standardize the process of how your team generates reviews. Number three on the list is a social media content creator. A best way to train this is to talk about your menu of types of posts you share. So for example, on my Instagram, I have a menu of the types of posts I share, like buckets, you might call them. I have one that I call, for instance, tweet shots. They're basically screenshots of tweets. You could create conversation prompts where I say new tweet shot, and then it understands in its instructions an order of events or questions in order to get through building a next tweet shot. It could brainstorm with you, help you create captions, contextualize those captions to be more appropriate for different social media platforms and help you go from A to Z start to finish in terms of crafting another tweet shot. I could tap another conversation prompt called carousel and it could then brainstorm with me on what the topic is and then help me actually craft the content itself for producing that next piece of content. You can massively streamline the creation process of content with ChatGPT, specifically custom trained GPTs. I think it's more of a dance. It's, a, it's an IPO system is what it is. Input, process, output. You're the input, it applies its process, you times the AI together, produce an output that is beyond what you could have done alone. Tools like ChatGPT can massively enhance the ability to write better content and more of it and do it faster and save you lots of time. And again, part of what makes a custom trained GPT so special is you can upload extensive amounts of data. You can upload posts you've written before, example video scripts, and give it example after example after example so it knows what it's basing its outputs off of. It's, it's gonna learn to sound more like you. This is where I think a custom trained GPT is so much more effective than just relying on GPT-4 as is. Because GPT-4 as is, it's only as good as what you tell it in that specific conversation and then whatever it already knows from a large language model training standpoint. But if you create a custom GPT for creating content, you can enrich its responses so much by feeding it sample after sample, an example of what you want your content to look and sound like so that it can continue to replicate that into the future, helping you brainstorm and helping you write the content, write the blog, write the email, write the caption and so forth. ChatGPT plus with your custom trained GPT uh, that can help you make content is a major time saver to scale your marketing with AI. Now, one more for good measure, a last custom trained GPT to consider making is an MLS data forecaster. So part of ChatGPT Plus is it gives you that little paperclip icon when you're uh, inputting your prompts, when you're typing in your chatbot, where you can upload files, files like CSV spreadsheets, for instance. Most MLSs subject to MLS rules around how you can use their data, allow their users to export data. So theoretically, you could export MLS data in your local marketplace every month and then load the data in the knowledge section of your custom trained GPT so that every month it has updated figures in terms of what's happening in the real estate market so that it could then be programmed, that is to say, instructed on how to give you analysis and insights and forecasts based upon what's happening in the marketplace. I already know most MLSs have some kind of a quick snapshot for quick statistics or insights, but what you can ask GPT to do for you is nuts. You can ask for pricing trends, competitor analysis, you can ask for buyer personas, you can ask for so much information based upon the data you feed it and where I think the custom trained GPT is so useful here versus just you know, uploading the data from your MLS in one specific conversation every so often is you can continually feed it this month, next month, the next month, the next month. And so it just gets smarter and more learned, so to speak, over time with MLS data, thereby having more rich data to give you better insights on what's happening in your local marketplace to make forecasting and predictions. You can also upload other data sources. You can upload census data. You can upload infrastructure data that you might have access to in your city. You can upload economic indicator data. You can upload uh, tax record data and enrich its understanding of MLS data based upon other data, help find the relationships that are there and it can start to feed you prompts and insights and forecast about the market. So you know how to talk to buyers and sellers more strategically and 
with greater expertise about what's happening in the market and where things are likely going based upon the data. Now, there you have it. Those are four specific custom trained GPTs that could help to scale your marketing, that could help to run your real estate business for you on some level. I wanna know in the comments, what are your ideas of custom trained GPTs to scale your marketing? If you liked the ones I shared, great. If you didn't, what are your ideas? I wanna hear from you. And until next week, thank you so much for tuning in to this week 